Hi everyone, it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna put on my makeup and I'm gonna be featuring some of the Chi Chi products that I purchased a couple of months back. I'm so sorry it has taken me this long but um, here we are and I can't wait to show you guys some of my favourite looks because I couldn't help myself and I've already cracked into this palette by Chi Chi. This is the Spices palette. Other than that, I think there are some um, stuff that I've not tried on camera before so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my skin and to do that, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set um, Spray. I purchased this from Watson's, you can get it from there. I've tried it a couple of times, I'm okay with it but I just don't like how it smells. I think it smells kind of weird. But anyway. Alright, then for primer, I'm actually going to be using this. <laughs> it's Becca First Light Priming Filter and I got it in the sample size from my purchase uh, on Sephora online. So I'm just going to go ahead and try it. Okay, you know what? Since I'm filming this real time, I'm just going to do a chit chat right now. So it's um, Ramadan already. So happy fasting to my Muslim followers and my Muslim friends. Um, Hopefully this Ramadan will bring you all a lot of joy and happiness and calmness in your lives. Now I'm going to apply the primer on my skin. skin. So it feels like it's been a long time since I last spoke to you guys. Um, it's been a while since I last filmed a video to be honest. I was not well last week. Um, or the week before I filmed this, I was really sick and I still don't feel 100% actually. Um, but what to do? Okay, next I'm going to do my brows and for this, I'm going to be using a Chi Chi product. This is the Chi Chi Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Soft Brown. I've also used this before and um, my thoughts on it, I feel that it's very pigmented. However, I feel that it's a bit too pigmented for my liking. It, you have a lot of product in here, it's not even funny. So I just take my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye um, brow brush and I, I'll just fill in my brows. I feel that it's too creamy but for the price that you pay, I think for pomade it's actually really good. That's my brows done and now I'm just going to um, carve out my brows. I've been doing this for the last couple of months. I'm using my NARS um, concealer. This is the complete, the soft matte complete concealer in the shade medium one custard and I'm just going to take that with a flat definer brush to define my brows. It is a very extra step okay but I like it and I like how it looks like or rather I like how it makes my it makes my brows look and I super love this concealer for carving my brows it's like so creamy and super pigmented but I will not recommend this for under the eyes I feel that it's not as forgiving um, because it, especially for my under eye area it kind of makes them uh, it makes my under eye area crease me because it's very creamy but for um, spot concealing and for like defining of brows and all that kind of things, I love it. Alright, so don't know whether you can tell but I find that there's a difference with my brows after I've carved them out. Like it looks much much more neater. I'm gonna set my brows now with my Rimmel London Brow This Way Styling Gel in the shade brown I think. Oh this is, called, um, this is the shade medium brown and what I usually do is I'll just put it like at the end of my brow and be careful with this because it's quite um you see what i mean i just i just deposited like a whole lot of product all right so now that the brows are done i like to do my eyes now so i'm taking my nas profile eyeshadow base and i'm going to start doing my eyeshadow I'm going to be using the Chi Chi Cosmetics Spices Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Glamorous Eyeshadow Palette. Um, first, I'm going to take some loose powder or any powder. I'm, I'm probably just going to take this. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just going to set my brow area so that it's easier for my eyeshadow to blend. 
I'm gonna go with like a very nice gold um, gold eyeshadow look because it's been a while since I last did that kind of eyeshadow look so let's go the first shade I'm gonna take is this shade I'm gonna take that shade that brown shade with a Zoeva 227 228 brush a Luxe Crease brush and I'm just going to buff that into my crease I'm gonna take this shade now this orange one right here and I'm going to also put that into the crease I'm just gonna be using the same brush it doesn't for me it's fine but if you have extra brushes or if you want to use extra brushes go ahead but I'm just going to pop that into the crease as well because I want to warm up the shade uh, the crease area and if you have been following me for a while you would know that I'm so into um, putting in like warm browns and oranges in my crease like it's my thing now I love it alright so now it looks kind of weird and crazy but it's okay we're just gonna blend it out later or rather we're gonna blend it now I love that cannot talk I'm gonna take another crease brush and I'm going to blend um, out this eyeshadow that we've already put on anyway since this is a chit chat kind of video guys so how's your high raya prep going or how's life has it been kind to you? I have been just working and um, you know being all wifey and everything and I know everybody wants to see a video with Kairun but we've yet to find time to film because we are always really busy over the weekends doing stuff and as in like going places and like visiting relatives and just spending time with family because now we have two families you know what I mean and okay so now that we are done with the crease I'm going to add one more crease color taking this brown shade right here this one oops this one right here just now I used this one so now I'm taking a shade darker and I'm going to place that on the outer parts of my eye just right here and gonna give a little bit of depth to the eye look and the look that I want to do today is one look that I just randomly did for work one morning um, and I used this glitter that was so pretty but unfortunately that glitter is not in my house now but it's so gorgeous and it's very affordable I'm not sure whether you can still get it but it's by Etude House um, and it's so pretty like the reflection on that is like lawa gila and last one I'm gonna take the darkest brown shade in this palette which is the one right here this one okay on camera it looks not as chocolate but it is and I'm just gonna pop that right at the outer corner of my eye just to um, further intensify that area and this eyes these eyeshadows even though we oh can see my brush strap and nobody told me uh -huh. yeah this this eyeshadow palette it's very pigmented but when you pick it up with a brush it doesn't oh, it doesn't pick up so much product that when you put it on you're just like oh crap it's it just deposits the right amount of product which is really good la. And then as always I'm gonna blend everything out just keep blending all right so this is what we have right now um, we've blown up the look quite a fair bit now I'm just gonna take a flat brush in like this this is the Zoeva um, smoky shader brush love this brush to pack on eyeshadow I'm gonna take the setting spray and I'm gonna wet this brush and then I'm gonna take this gold shade right here this is a foolproof eyeshadow look so you can even use it for 8 if you want I'm gonna take this shade right here, super gorgeous. Just watch how this eyeshadow performs. Like, what? Look at that. Like, are you for real right now? So I was very impressed when I just felt like doing this eyeshadow look the other day. And 
like I say, I don't have the glitter. Because imagine you just pop like gold glitter on here. <sighs> we have to make do with what you have, right? So I'm just gonna go with it and I'm gonna pack on this gold eyeshadow on my other eye as well, of course. And then I'm going to take um, the first blending brush that I used earlier to blend everything out. I'm going to take my eyeliner. This is a L'Oreal eyeliner. You can use which, whatever eyeliner you want. And I'm going to create my um, wing. Alright, so my liner is on. Yay. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to um, intensify the outer corner of my eyes again because I want to. So I'm taking that brown shade and I'm just going to um, start from my wing and, bring, and wiggle my brush where my wing is and slowly bring it in. Okay, so we're going to take a break with the eyes and we're going to move on to the face. So, um, I already primed just now, remember? So, I'm just going to refresh my face with the spray again. And today's, um, today, I'm going to use two foundations um, and both of them are from L'Oreal. The reason why I'm using two is because one of them, the colour is not, um, it's not my undertone. So the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Stay Fresh Foundation. This is the one that you can get in Singapore. And this is the one, um, the Infallible 200, no, 24 Hour Matte Foundation. And I got this at the airport when I was going to Jakarta and I haven't even tried it. I swatched it and I thought at that time this matched me. But as you can see, the tone is like really different. Like one of it is really pink, so I'm not sure. I've never tried this, so I don't know how it's going to look like. So I just want to have this on hand just in case I look like a ghost or something. I don't know how it's going to look like or feel like. I think I pumped, uh, I squeezed too much. But anyway, got it at the back of my hand. I'm going to use another Chi Chi product. This is the Chi Chi Complexion Sponge. The Chi Chi Makeup Blending Sponge. have not tried this yet, but it looks reminiscent to the... Real Techniques one. So I'm just going to dot this on my face and just see how it looks. Okay, the sponge is not bad. It's not as soft as the Real Techniques one, but it's better than a lot of other blending sponges that I've tried. As for the foundation, I think that it's um, too beige, no, it's too pink of an undertone for my skin. Um, even though it's blending out pretty alright, like the colour match in terms of uh, my skin, it's okay, it's just that it's not the correct undertone. I feel very like white. Not sure how I look like on camera. I think on camera it doesn't look so bad. But in person, it kind of looks quite ghostly. <laughs> as for the texture, as you know, I have like combinations. I have dry, com combination and dry skin. Um, and I don't think this is very flattering for my skin because it's quite... It's very matte. So yeah, this is how my skin looks like in combination. The coverage though, it's pretty good, I do have to say. Um, not sure if I want to top up with the um, Stay Fresh, but maybe I will just a bit. This one is the one in the pump. You can get this at Singapore Watson's, it's fine. And this was the foundation that I had on in my previous videos. As I was saying, I was very impressed and surprised, like pleasantly surprised by the um, 24 hour uh, matte, what? 24 hour stay fresh foundation the one that launched in singapore drugstores because on camera i really like how my foundation looked like um, it was very easy to blend as well and i just thought that i wanted to use a, a, a different foundation than i usually use which is like nas or um, my hourglass foundation so i wanted to use something different and anyway, let me know in the comments if you want to see like a full drugstore tutorial um, 
because I don't mind doing that because I have had some requests to do the um, full face drugstore um, makeup tutorial. I can't even do it. Maybe I can even do like a, a, a high raya or a type of thing. Um, and I was also considering doing like a one brand tutorial for Rimmel since that Rimmel is available in Singapore now. So yeah, let me know if you want to see um, do, like a drugstore, a full drugstore tutorial or a one brand tutorial, like a Rimmel one. Um, and hopefully I'll have the time to film it. Now I'm going to start doing my under eye concealer and this is my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade light medium. And how much it brightens up the under eye. And then I'm going to take my Koti S Pan Powder and um, set my under eye area. This thing I don't like about this is like so hard to take out. Annoying. And it's so strong, the smell. <coughs> then I'm going to take a slightly more fluffy brush to just dust that everywhere. Now to contour, I'm taking my Tatis Pro Glow Palette. And I'm going to use my favourite contour brush, which is the Zoeva 109 Lux Face Paint Brush. And I'm going to take the shade Sculpt right here. And I'm going to contour my cheeks. I love this colour for my cheeks. It's so nice. Really, really love this palette. And I really love the colour as well for contouring. It's gorgeous. And oh, crap. This is what happens when you don't pay attention. And taking a bit, I'm going to run it down my nose. I'm going to finish off the face first before we go back to the eyes because I'm weird like that. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Geek blush. I think I'm going to take a bit of Spellbound which is this pinky shade right here. And I'm going to take um, Bliss, which is an um, orangey shade. I'm going to mix those two and I'm going to pop it on my cheeks. Yeah, that's the perfect shade that I like. Now for highlight, I'm going to take my Tatis Pro Glow Palette again. I'm going to take this shade right here called Lit and mix it with Strobe. No, I'm going to mix these two shades together, which is Lit and Stunner. Oh my god. I'm gonna put it on my nose. Oh wow! Okay, super love this. And then I'm gonna use the spray again to set everything. Then, and right before it dries, I'm gonna add more. Love this brush. Okay, cukup lah eh. I'm gonna finish off the eyes now and I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna take a um, heaven. Aww. Kairun is here. Can't see him. Say hi. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's been really nice and letting me feel. Anyway, oh wait, I'm taking these two shades, just mixing them together on a pencil brush, and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this shade and also blend it down there. I'm gonna take a wing liner brush and take that dark brown shade, wet my brush first. I'm going to take that brown shade on a wet wing liner brush and I'm going to concentrate that on the outer corners of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a Rimmel um, nude eyeliner and I'm going to put that on my waterline. I want glitter. So I cannot help myself. I'm going to take my Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter um, Liquid Eyeshadow. And I'm going to take it on a small brush like this. And I'm going to place that at my um, at the inner corners of my eyes. 
Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes and use mascara. And the mascara I'm using is a new one and it's a new favourite. This is the Catrice Glam & Doll Volume Mascara Waterproof. And this was recommended to me by Aisha or um, Curls & Mints. Actually not recommended to me. Like she recommended it to everyone on her channel. So I will link her channel in the description box below so you can go and check it out. I love her. She is so sassy. She has such a like... I love her personality and I like her recommendations and her skin is like flawless. So anyway, I'm gonna curl my lashes and pour mascara. And if you know me, you know that I have super straight lashes and they are super stubborn. They don't wanna curl. But this mascara though, like it separates, it lengthens, it curls and lifts my lashes to high heavens. And it is only $7.50. So, people, you need to get your hands on this because it's amazing and I can't thank Aisha enough for her recommendation because it's awesome. Last but not least is the lips. I'm going to be using my Chi Chi Viva La Diva Matte Lipstick. So, this is the shade show, um, Sex Bomb. So, let's see if it matches this look. Oh, it does. Does it? So this is the shade um, Sex Bomb. I actually kind of like how it looks like. It's a very nice nude pink shade. Um, and I think I'm quite happy with this. So I'm just going to stick with this lip colour. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, chit chat makeup tutorial. And like the look that I came up with. I really really love how it turned out and I like how warm the eyes are and I like this nude lip as well and it's called Sex Bomb. Um, the lipsticks by the way I did not mention they are super pigmented and they are very creamy. It's a slightly plasticky smell but it's not so bad like it's not like um, th those old lady kind of smells. Anyway that's besides the point. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!